make the aggressive moves. I, they're, they're fine with this. You know, this was a really good move actually from Nigma getting an earn charge. They're pushing top lane with the Darks here. They're getting mid farm for the Terraboid. They're happy with this move. Another tip. Look at dude, they, what is going. They're just tipping ILTW. Nice. Oh, and BZZ's dead as well. Miracle with alacrity finds the pickoff, but it does increase your threat potential. And immediately they smoke. Straight away. GH and Miracle making the moves here with Kuroki too. The vent that is online. He's got a hell bear, a Lord wild off. wing, and that's long enough. Spot it out. Yeah, they go straight on with a tornado, catching the lean. A huge kill for Nigma. Even though you're versus AA, you can still be kind of decent. Yeah. It's you know it's. I think right now he's happy. He's very satisfied, oh, a, at least with himself. That's a good sentry mid. Emergence sees GH, but he didn't react in time. I think he was looking elsewhere, so that allows Miracle and GH to get on top of him. Indeed, respecting the fact they could TP to tier three, so they him. cut in between the wave instead. And afterlife, oh my god, he just doesn't last long. That's a Viper. We're seeing them just abusing the Viper. The slowness of this hero is getting caught off guard. Enigma's playing a bit too fast here. Again, An immersion. They see him. Oh, goodness. He just stood straight on top of that high ground. He gets a magnetized with a vacuum wall. Afterlife's caught up inside of it. And Dream gets the chrono in. It's only on one. Does only catch one. And Miracle's still pummeling into them. The Mabel dropped an Afterlife. The Laguna Blade towards that dark sea. Mind control falls. But Afterlife is dead as well. Uh, do we get some buybacks? Immersion wants to buy back. And Miracle, Ice Blast, and the urn. But a great thunder. RTW saves up his main carry. Miracle's still going to get rolled on, though. But GH looking for the line up of the stun. Dream. Time walks away, but the carapace and the catch onto him might be able to finish him off as Miracle's still surviving. There He's under the cold snap. Miracle's alive. No way. Okay. He doesn't survive. The AA gets the final touch. That was the Invoker X. They even popped the meta. ILTW now has no meta for the upcoming fight either, so it's going to give time for Chronosphere to come back up, and it's going to give time for Gambit to continue taking oh, advantage of this oh map. Oh, God. Oh, the Glimmer. It's a good tornado. I don't know if it'll finish him. It sneak will. in and catch somebody off guard. AA does not have buyback. It's still a pretty big kill, even if they find BZZ, who's pretty far Ooh. out right now. Do they see him? I don't think they do. They, they spot Immersion in the mid lane. They, they have him send out BZZ, but they know Immersion is a target they could potentially go for. Missing out the next stun of the vacuum back with Escardi going. Immersion rolls away thanks to BKB and the Chrono. Cataclysm going to come and land in onto a couple of the Gambit guys as BZZ's blown up, but RTW survives. Gets away from the Chrono. Immersion destroyed. A double for Miracle. And now Dream's the one in trouble. Oh, Faceless Void. Without buyback, you've got to really hold on for dear hope here. He's saying his, his Arena Spear and that Winter's Curse, the majority their control, but Miracle now an unexpected TP bottom. So they see the Wyvern top and they feel safe bottom as Parlot just gets speared after that EMP tornado combo and the Wraith King. Is this the third death in quick succession from him? They've been saved up by RR with a good shield. Parlos with no one charges, and the remaining right clicks coming through. Miracle Ghost walking to slow him down. Mind Control should get the finishing touch. The shield and spear, oh, not quite enough damage. They need to dive from Miracle to take him down. And RR is looking to try to trade, but it's good tornado. Stopping your way's aggression into the trees. They need this guy to come back into the game. Yeah, maybe even think about stacking up some jungle camps for you. Get the Abaddon over there, maybe the Lina can do that job. But Miracle, so very active early on. Goes bottom, goes top, he's everywhere on the map, finding openings. It's a good Light Strike array. Nico, unfortunately, though, out of mana, so he can't get any more damage onto RTW. And just drops. In comes Yoei. They find the Mars. Palos finally gets their help he needs. So equally with Miracle's great rotations, Yoei is reacting beautifully, but look who it is again. Oh, he's done it one more time. On to BDZ. The Light Strike Array will buy a bit of space for the Winter's Curse. It comes out. Final damage needed, and Miracle turns back. So BDZ, oh, into the trees. Miracle's projectile. He was flies. trying to hide, but there is inside already. the arena. Could be a beautiful setup for them. If they get BDZ and Palos here, as Nigma. They do set up with a two-man tornado. Arena catching out Nico and BDZ. The Ice Blast on the Mars, up. and they blow up the Magnus. Now the Spectre haunting in towards RR. He pops his borrowed time, they just need to get Palos and Yoe out of there. Three heroes pummeled as Nigma bring everybody in yet again. The numbers advantage and the setup from Nigma spot on. And they're not done. Lacoste, they want Palos. They, they want, want more. to get more core heroes. Great spear after that chilling touch and the cold feet coming. Palos turns on his armor, still has that level two reincarnation, don't forget. So so first life sure is expended, but Nigma. Oh, they don't want to stick around. They know the people are respawning. Oh, what a so the tornado dime. TP. He actually hits him with the tornado while he is trying to TP out. You know, the Correct. balls. You see cataclysm, EMP. Where we run? Yeah, you will need the BKB. So what's the Nico building? He's going into full pipe, just uh, thinking up for his own team. 
And finally has Arcane Boots, so a lot more mana pool to work with. Another RP, Skewer back, away from the Vinter's Curse. Yeah, good little stun with the Lock Strike Array, but there's the Curse now with the Arena on them. Nigma Captain is and the Cold Embrace. Healing Miracle, he's still alive. He's half HP. Oh, they turn it around. Finally blowing up the Invoker, but it's a tragic fight here as they take down BDZ and Nico. The buyback for Miracle now, wanting to extend this longer. Reincarnation from the Wraith King brings him oh, back. Heal. And now the heal onto the Spectre. RTW seems fine and dandy until BDZ with the Light Strike Array stun, connecting on to him with a Deathling Blast pushback. It's a triple for my control. They're gonna get the fourth kill here. Lena die back. BDZ's done for. That, that's what we talked about. They don't have enough damage. They decide to go in. Is it gonna be a full team one? They want the fifth one. Oh, what a spear Great by Mind catch. Control. Sunstrike a little off the mark there. Yoe, a TP. Sliding their way into that bottom jungle. Nico, king of the hill. He is up there on the top of the hill. There's the nice arena towards the Lena, but jump back in from Nico now. No Why problem. Cap towards GH, but the Winter Wyvern just turns around, cast the Winter's Curse, and Kuroki saved once more. This Cold Embrace Holy Locker you've been talking about has been spot on from Nigma. Kuroki, I don't know if he'll even die here. Shockwave back, but still alive, finally. Picked off by Yoe. RTW now, though, free reign in the fight to chase down any targets that he sees fit. Palos, daggered up, slowed down, sunstruck and killed. He's only got to done it. Miracle snipes the Wraith King. Nico, nice shockwave. shockwave skewer. It's great. Back towards the tier three. Mind control healed they again. Have, they do not have the answer. Very close, just 100 gold away. Uh, the timing that they're looking for is that plus a BKB level 18 on the Raid King. Lower the cooldown. Oh, yeah. Off reincarnation and have spell immunity. Mind but control once again going in. Hey, Palos. He's got his reincarnation, sure. He turns and whacks mind control. Aras helping him out too, but it's a BKB MC and, and Palos. He doesn't have the mana, he's been burnt off it, so there is no reincarnation. They've got an RP on the Spectre, but Nigma just dying in the base. A double for Miracle. They are spot on with these initiations, all set up by Mind Control. And this Winter's Curse towards the Void Spirit. They're going to find all the core heroes. Yule Scepter into the air, the Remnant drops down, but Yoe's gone. Execration looks oh, really done 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 now. Really good now. A godlike streak. Reincarnation, he respawns there. But Nigma would definitely have to. Respect it more. Skewer back into tier fours. LSA misses. And right, now they've got an arena. RTW half HP, but look at that. The cataclysm comes. Nico down. They'll find that first reincarnation. And a deafening blast meatball clears through his second life. He's got no buyback and probably no one chance. Of my Almost Queen of Pain. Going combos to play against. She's going to be fine. Uh, Nyx Assassin plus Medusa when she was stealing mana. Mm. You no. weren't able to use your abilities. Mana burn plus a snake. All mana pool gone. Especially like Wraith King before oh, he got his Akim shot. Solo kill. Oh, Miracle mid killed Yoe mid. Defend their Morphling. But an Invis Invoker might be able to find the takedown. Two earned charges. Cold Snap Tornado at the ready. Aiming in towards mid. There's the stun. The chain disables. Perfect execution from Nigma. Such a great job hiding off the map right now. They know this timing is coming. AM is the only one showing out on the map down in the bottom lane. A Warlock looks at, look at, look, five. Look like, at that. He can't even team fight when he doesn't have a rock. Oh, he doesn't have rock yet. It's 14 minutes in. And Miracle, he was spotted under that sentry. But in comes the RTW anti mage. Palos barely blinking back. Spirit Vessel low, ticking him down. The damage is enough. He's killed Sun off. Strike. All Sun right. Strike's coming. Doesn't find doesn't the need it. To him. It is not necessary. The more damage it does. Stacking the tentacles. Of course, we need another another warning for your sarcasm meter. Yo, eh? Stunning out the lion. Does claim. Oh, oh, good nope. spear. Soul Finger ring. of death back. Not enough. Not dropping. Enough they get the ball flick. Couldn't even kill Kuroki. And RTW with the Aegis now, just running straight towards Execration. The whip towards it, moving the speed forward. On to BDZ. Got the Bedlam off, but it's a dying move. The last breath here of Execration. Connect? The spear onto R. Oh, yeah, I don't know, but it's caught up against the tower. Now an arena from my control as well. It's all falling apart for Execration. Nigma have their number, a double for Miracle. And this one looks like it might be over already. Now with the Dark Quill low. Look at RTW, man. He doesn't care, like, they, they cannot kill him. Not a solitary damn given by this man. And RR clipped by that tornado. Cold snap and that Earth Splitter. While well, Anti-Mage moving forward. 64% physical resistance. That's quite a lot, Lacoste. And he's jumping forward to BDZ. He might be able to get the solo kill. In comes Mind Control, secures it for him, forces the buyback. The Sonic Wave there does claim the aim. Damage, will it pop it? They will. It. Yes, they want to can. focus the AM. Nice terrorize after the ravage, the chain stuns. Do they have them? The Curse Crown's coming, but he managed to get out of it. Blinks away, and now Nigma can turn and face Execration. Burst through every hero.
hero they've got. Morphling gone for a minute. Tide's done. No buybacks and no spells to be cast, even if they had them. This is it. Nigma will take them out. 2-0 as GG is called. I've seen a lot of different concepts utilized. You know, sometimes switching into the Exhort build and going for more damage dealing. Sometimes they go max Wex and play more of a playmaker. I've seen yeah. Midas's, Orchids, Witchblades. Everyone's got their own style, but this is huge. They killed Emo. To maybe pressuring this mid tower, but uh, well, they may still have this weird opportunity where Nigma is going to smoke to them here. They're going to smoke into their own jungle and it's going to break right here. Super is going to be the first target. Tornado EMP, so they can't really go for him directly as he's going to be forced to pop his ultimate. Kaka stuck in this cliff area, caught by ILTW. He's going to pop the Eclipse. Emo, he jumps into it. So much magic damage. He's being overwhelmed, but he does manage to at least get that off of Ghost Sifter. His magic damage fades and more sinister strength. He's getting a bit of time here. A stomp to finish off Super. Boom, there he goes. Slept up on JT as well. So they're going to stall out Ladies. long enough for the next round of spells to come through and finish off this offlaner again. IG losing fight after fight. Nigma. I wonder what their next target is, Cap, as three wards are now placed all surrounding yes. Nigma mid tower. They smoke out. They want to use the they're age to smoke into left. this ward area. And it's going to break on the low ground here. They try and make their jump. My control does manage to get the spear onto JT. And they're surrounded inside the arena. The Death oh. Prophet, they get blown up by all this damage. And Fly Fly doesn't get any damage after the exorcism. ILTW challenging anybody who comes across from IG. And Emo's on his way out. Turns around. Nice, nice Earth Spike as he uses that haste rune to get out of here. Super not going to be as lucky, though. Slowed down by a nuke and should be able to finish him off. Good. Good. Roshan here. Otherwise, they'd get caught inside the pit. Go back to their own high ground here. Nigma, of course, full of confidence. Approach. They break immediately. Super, he's going to be the one to break, and he's okay with this. The arena has been used just for him, and he's going to pop his ultimate. Cataclysm. Here comes the Cataclysm. Big drops coming out. Fly, fly down to half. Save goes with Emo. They're battling it out. ILTW throw drops his ultimate, but the BKBs are allowing them to pursue through. Oh, Emo gets blasted. He's BKB wears down the Earth Splitter. <laughs> Snaps him in half, and there goes Super as well. And a dieback, buyback. Okay. IG get wiped in this team fight. Nigma go for it right hey. here. Nigma. Luna destroys tier four oh towers. IG, they're not going to be here fast enough. Shadow Shop is going to buy back now. He's no like, I'm going to slow this down, but he can't get there in time. The Spirit's going to stop his blink dagger. He's going to stop to try and make sure the Shadow Shaman is going to be here in time. He's not going to be here in time. Nigma, they are getting out of the wild card, and they're going to the group stage. Oh my god, look at the pop off. They did it the hardest way possible. You cannot ask extra games necessary, not just.